Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over to see another cleaning video. As you can tell, my house needed it. Oh my gosh, y'all. This was just a couple of days of me really not picking up or doing dishes or anything like that. Um, I had a terrible migraine yesterday and so I really just had to get back on track and um, get everything picked up because it was driving me crazy. So I didn't feel that good so it was all hands on deck and my husband is actually trying to get something to work on the TV that's why he's kind of standing back there and he couldn't get it to work so he decided just to kind of help me anyway so it was just kind of funny how that all worked out but yeah it kind of took me all day to get these couple of rooms cleaned just because of the extent of mess and uh, weird things like my vacuum <laughs> kept um, dying and you know just weird stuff like that so um, I just decided to go with it as long as it was gonna take me I was gonna get it done and I was gonna feel better and even now as I'm recording this my living room is clean and it is nice and it is just the best feeling so I just wanted to give you guys some motivation and some inspiration that even though it looks like a daunting task sometimes, you can get things done if you just keep pushing and pushing on. Um, just do a little bit at a time, as much as you can do, and you will definitely get there in the end. As you can tell, um, during the time that we were picking up the living room, my son was undoing the dishwasher, and this is one of his chores. I will link my allowance video and um, let you guys know he has a couple of different things that he's supposed to do for allowance and this is one of them so as you can tell my kitchen is terribly messy and I'm going through kind of while he's in there and throwing things away um, but he always has to unload the dishwasher I wouldn't say he puts everything away perfect but I think that he does a really good job for his age and um, he tries really, really hard. So I am just appreciative for any and all help that I get. Um, so this is actually a little bit later in the day because I tried to vacuum uh, and my vacuum died as I told you guys. But oh, just getting all the stuff off the carpet and um, I end up vacuuming the couch really well because I had eaten something on the couch and got basically made this huge mess which I can't even blame on my child because it was me and um, so yeah it ends up being a little bit later in the day but I just felt like you know what if I kept pushing through I was gonna eventually end up with a semi clean house and that's what I wanted so I will try not to be so chatty you guys know that I like to tell you all the things so um, as I get under these cushions and deep clean and clean up my crumbs and my mess, um, I will try to let you guys just um, listen to the music and get some really good cleaning motivation. And let me know what you guys got done today in your house because you know what? Some days we don't get everything done on our list, but we get stuff that is really important done and we feel really good at the end. So what did you get done today that made you guys feel good? So if it's your guys' first time watching my videos, um, you have to know that I love to dust. I really don't actually love the process, but I hate 
having dust in my house. I don't know what it is. It's just one of those weird things. So a lot of times in my videos I dust because um, it's just something I naturally do a couple times a week. I don't like there to be any kind of dust on my furniture. I don't know. We all have weird pet peeves, right? Um, but I always use Norax cloths. Um, my neighbor kind of got me into them. She sold them to me. And um, I would assume that they are very similar to like e-cloths. So you're just cleaning with water. And y'all, I love them so much. I use them to dust and I use them in my kitchen. And oh my goodness, I just love, love, love them. And so thankfully you can tell it's later on in the evening and my son comes out and helps me get everything back to normal which is wonderful and so it's about nine o'clock and I go in and I'm gonna load my dishwasher as full as I can I actually cleaned out my refrigerator too so um, it really isn't just like a random two days worth of dishes I did clean out my refrigerator as well and um, I had had a lot of things that just needed um, to get washed so I'm actually running my dishwasher right now and I'm probably going to have to unload it and uh, run it again. And I just haven't been able to get kind of caught up. And what's kind of happening is I have like one load left. And then we'll have all the dishes from the entire day or something like that will kind of happen. And this week I've just been busy. Um, I've been having to kind of just visit some people in the hospital. And I've just been kind of running around like crazy so I've just been trying to get done what I can get done and as you can tell the dishes are piling up which is something that I absolutely hate so I was so glad when this was all done just kind of scrub off my stove and my countertops with a sponge that has dish soap on it and this works really well I don't know this is the way my mom always cleaned and it works really well um, most of the time especially today anything that's on my counter I scrub off um, or if I have loose stuff on the counter I just sweep it on the floor and then sweep it up at the end and so that's my tip when it's just a day where you're wanting to get through things you know just make it as easy as possible on yourself and then I go back with my Norex cloth because that's just kind of my added protection um, and Norwax does a really good job just um, kind of cleansing everything just using water and getting all the suds up and everything else um, but if I don't have to scrub too much I'll just use the cloth but a lot of times I kind of do both so in this you'll see that on one side I really didn't have a whole lot of mess so I just used my um, Norwex cloth and it worked out wonderfully and I was just so happy with how things turned out because it was just an overwhelming daunting task for me to look at this kitchen and I had been putting it off 
all day it was so bad. And you can tell I had a lot on the floor because I actually picked up the broom and swept. Most of the time you'll see me, I'll just come in here and vacuum. But today I really needed a broom and I really needed to kind of pick everything up with a dustpan and that's when you know it's bad in my kitchen. So just the truth here, I mean you can't get around it. But I did go back and um, just vacuum on top of that to make sure everything was nice. And I just love these before and afters, guys. Check this out. Oh my gosh, this was wonderful. The counters were all cleared off and they were nice and you could run your hands over them. And even though I have to put all those dishes in the dishwasher when it's done and it's still going, I can hear it, I just feel like this was such a calming experience to see the afters versus the before. And as you can tell here, another great before and after because that living room was driving me crazy, y'all. I just could not get a handle on it, and I really just wanted it to get back to normal. So thankfully, uh, my guys helped, and it did kind of take a good majority of my day to get the house kind of back to normal. But y'all, I just feel so calm and happy now that everything is back in its place. So let me know, what did you guys get done today? What, small or big, what did you get done? Um, did you clean a whole room or did you just pick up your living room? And whatever it is, um, let me know in the comments below. Like, let's encourage each other and be happy for each other because, y'all, it is hard sometimes. Life and family and children and just everything will have an effect on your everyday life. So let's, so let's encourage each other and I definitely would love to know what you all got done and I hope this gave you some much needed motivation and I will see y'all again in my next brand new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now.